All right, what's up, guys? I had to sort that out. That was that was a whole shit show. That was a shit show. I apologize. I didn't realize I had none of the DLC downloaded still, so we took care of that. We have to 
That's more than I'd usually pay. You drive up. An excellent bargain. All by five. Another. save, comfortably save, and move forward. Alright, good. So the pirates have returned. So now we can do either the pirates and the other. Pirates the same day we do the arena. For another mission. What? Of course. Alright, you guys return in a week. Then we will 
we'll do this quest. Collect our gold and we'll do the we'll do the fucking quest. That's kind of what I'm playing right now. But it's late at night, so we're probably not gonna be able to do it right now. But we'll find out. Well where Okay, based on your ability. Oh. Alright, we can just do it. You've got it! I'll Alright, so we're doing the bear two minotaurs. He's a fucking pig. Good people of the Imperial City! Welcome to the arena! You've come to watch the Grand Champion battle some of Cyrodiil's fiercest creatures! Drop nothing. I like all the stuff I have. Oh yeah, I can just drop that. Use the feather thing. The feather thing. There we go. That, that fixed it. That was the whole side of those issues. Now I can carry more loot. Great show. Great. Sh Thirteen twenty. All right. It's not bad. The market district. Wait four hours. Crank out this quest. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. There we go. Greetings. Go ahead. Can't go into battle with broken equipment. There's much I can show you. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I introduce? Morning. Maybe it's slash and smash where the guy teaches you stuff. 
herbal slash be oh, seeing you it'll tra it'll tra all right fuck it we're gonna do the quest we are going to go and do the quest Lord rug dump all right we're just gonna travel to the caverns the lake Lake Arius caverns Lord Rug Dumpf. Speaketh. Ah, you are from the Fighters Guild, I resume. Good show. I am Lord Rug Dumpf Groshergak. Let us conversate on the Lady Rogbutt. Lady Rogbutt. I am Lord Rug Dumpf. I fear that while stout rock picking, she was apprehensive. Stolen away. My suspension is that ogres have objected her. Please search to the east of my sprawling abode. They have been known to vacate these premises. I am most gracious and truly woeful. Please rescue my daughter from those brutes. Horrible creatures, replete with horror and evil. All right. Precedeth most urgent-like. Sure, buddy. Alright. Where could these ogres may where have these ogres may be gone? Oh, you ugly bastard. Uh. Oh, shit. Ha! 
that, huh? Not so tough now, are you? Now where is the lady rock line? Glad you killed those things. I'd have done it myself, but apparently that's not ladylike. <laughs> Let's get back to my father. The ni Please, get on with it. All right. Those are tough fucking orders. You found my bill. Anan us most soon again. That's all you gave me? You didn't give me any fucking gold? You shit me. Oh, that is, that is a pretty cool looking sword. That is a cool looking sword. Please don't tell anyone. Now to return to the other orc and get my reward. Probably got some sleep too. My character probably needs sleep. Attributes level thirteen now. Where is our friend Rokash? Good morning. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. You need to go find Lady Ro- You got her back in one piece. Good work. I've always liked that girl. May have to look her up sometime. Here's your payment.
You've done good work, and you deserve better than your current rank. I'm restoring your previous rank of Guardian. Congratulations. Good shit, I'm a Guardian. I've got one more for you, Meat. I assume you can handle it. Some folks are missing in Harlan's watch. We've been contracted to find out what's happened. Speak to Durana Thelis for all the details. Get going. I can't... Ever since Ulrich Leyland took over the Captain of the Guard, the Guards have imposed new ridiculously heavy fines for... If you can't pay the fine, they can take your property away, or toss you in the castle dungeons. Nothing we can do about it, really. If you're interested, go talk to Lavana Nadarin. Stop Nothing wasting idea. time. We'll investigate very quickly. Morning. What's new with you? We need I heard your there help. Were some Hello. You're from the Fighters Guild, I presume. It's good that you've arrived. We need your help with some disappearances. Some folks reported seeing strange lights near the old swampy cave. We sent folks to investigate. They started appearing a few nights ago. Ah. Virtuous. Be careful. Disgusting creatures. I hope to never we'll see this another. So long. You too. I swear to God, it's a goddamn oblivion gate. We're gonna walk. Help our athletics. But um, yeah. Well, in the meantime, let's talk about some fights. There's plenty of uh, there's plenty of MMA I need to catch up on that I've watched and I want to talk about. And I want to be dating myself pretty heavily, so. Let's, uh, let's just get into it. So, there was UFC 274. And that had a bunch of good that had some That had some good fights and some damn fights on it. Um, my favorite fight was the Chandler versus Ferguson fight. And round one started off like really good. It was, um, like, I, I was just blown away. It was, uh,. It was fucking, it was crazy. There was a, there was a nasty takedown. It's not, it seems that the strange lines people were talking about were Willow the Wisps, but there don't seem to be any signs of time for them disappeared. So, um, Chandler got a, got a nasty takedown in the first round, and 
I mean, it didn't look good for Tony. Tony's now hasn't really looked the same since the Gaethje fight, which sucks because he's like my favorite fighter. Tony Ferguson is easily one of my favorite fighters. And um, it's just tough to see one of the legends of the sport go down like that. And he got taken down, but he was throwing some nasty elbows. And he was doing he was doing pretty good, like he was holding his own. There's a lot of back and forth and the uh, Ooh, that's, that's there was a lot of back and forth and the uh, a little bit of back and forth in the second round and then it just it ended with that fucking head kick. Everybody saw the head kick. Tony's face became a meme. It was just it sucked. I didn't I I I didn't like to see. I didn't like to see my guy go off like that. That's not uh that's never how you want to see one of your favorite fighters go down, but it is what happens. And um you know, it just, it, it, was, it was upsetting. <laughs> and then there was the, um, there was the Thug Rose who's not being versus Carlos Sparza. That was easily, and I've watched a lot of MMA fights. I've been watching since, I've been watching on and off since Chuck Liddell was the UFC light heavyweight champion. And that was easily one of the most, that was the, the most boring fight I'd ever seen. At the, at the time, you know, that was just, it was just like, I'm, we're, me and all my boys are just, we're just screaming at the goddamn TV. We're getting some good boot here. 10,000, 10,000 gold. That'll be enough to buy my house. Probably buy the Imperial City house first. Oh, let's go. Uh, you ain't sneaking up on me, dude. Uh, the key. The key is to get all the loot. But yeah, the fight was just wicked boring. I didn't give a fuck who won. I don't think either of them won. I think that should have been a draw. That was the most bullshit ass fight I've probably ever seen. And um, and then there was the main event. That was Charlie Olives versus Justin Gaethje. Justin had spent a good amount of time talking about how Charles has tapped out before. He has quite a few losses on his record. A lot of people never even thought he'd be the champ. Uh, but it was it was a good fight. It was it was good. Uh, why why the champ has it? He also missed to the title before the uh, before the fight because he missed weight, which sucks. That sucks to see with any fighter, but especially with a guy like him who's really he's really cla classy. He's respectful. He's a he's a good fighter. He's a really good fighter in my opinion. And um. He, uh, he went out there and he just like, choked him out. He got knocked down a few times, similar to the Poirier fight, and he just he turned it around, took Justin's back, put him in a rear naked choke, and the fight was over. And um, that set up for uh, Makachev versus Gate versus um, versus Olives later, which was also a fight I was really interested in. My block skill has increased. The truly skillful fighter learns to block with shield and weapon. Diligent practice has made you a journeyman at blocking. Blocking no longer damages your weapon or your shield. Blocking with your bare hands will cause opponents to recoil a bit, though you may take full damage from the attack. Very well. <laughs> Inside the swampy cave, I've found the corpses of the townsfolk that are missing. It looks like the trolls have been fended, feeding on the people weakened by the will-o'-wisps. I should make sure to clear out all the remaining to to trolls from the cave complex. 
very well. And yeah, like I don't, and I don't dislike Justin Gaethje either. I think Justin Gaethje is a really good fighter. There's another like they put they put on entertaining fights. Him, Chandler, Ferguson, uh, Olives. Um, Doug Rose has even put on quite a few bangers. So it just surprised me that uh, she just didn't she didn't show up for that fight. You know, it's just I don't know what happened. And, uh, it was just, it was a whole thing. I, I, I didn't understand it. But, um... Let's go. Pretty blows here. <coughs> Getting a lot of soldiers here. like it wasn't a bad card I mean it was just one bad fight you know what I mean and some people have those some people sometimes people have have one have a bad fight and they lose the title but uh yeah you know what I mean just shit happens gotta eliminate the rest of these trolls but um yeah, so UFC 274 wasn't bad. I mean, I'm glad I don't pay for it. I don't ever pay for these for these goddamn fights. Especially now with the price increase. Starting, starting in January, they're going to be 80 dollars now for a goddamn pay-per-view. watch every single card either. I watch a lot of the numbered pay-per-views. I try to watch fight nights when I can, but I'm all over the place, so I don't always have time to watch every single fight. And I'd love to be able to watch more Bellator and uh, PFL, even one. I just I don't have a whole lot of time to be watching all that MMA.
Oh, fuck's sake. There we go. As a new journeyman of illusion, you know what is and isn't real, and how to fool the minds of your opponents. You can now cast journeyman level illusion spells. I'll take it. this way and we're going to explore the rest of the cave. Trolls in the swat in the swampy cave. Which is good news. Now, how the fuck do I get oh, easy exit, great. Oh no, you believe trolls killed him? That's horrible. What did I get? Mind and body ring? What a pity. What does that do? Oh, 
Oh, that's. I avoid them. Now that we've talked about UFC 274, we'll talk about UFC 275, which had some pretty good bangers. Um, that was uh, Whaley Zhang versus Yuani and Jacek, and well met. ended in a, a, a stoppage, obviously, as people saw. And then Yuani retired after the after the fight. She's she she was she was a really good fighter. Hello, wicked good fighter. Um, Definitely brought it, needle mover, you know what I mean? Like I just like I all of her fights were always. Thought I sent you opinion. to Harlem. You're supposed to be help Trolls, huh? Afraid to say I don't have any more contracts for you. I've got nothing else. You've cleared every contract we've got on the books. That's some good work. You're now promoted to champion of the Fighters Guild. You outrank me now, so there's certainly no more I can do for you. You might check with an old friend of yours, though. Rumor has it that Orion's looking for you. You didn't hear it from me, though. Good work and good luck. This. All right, I'm a champion. Farewell. I'm a champion now, which is dope as fuck. We're gonna go back to. We're gonna sell this shit. We're gonna sell all this shit. But I'm gonna go back to my house and sleep because we need to get sleep in the game. Yeah, you wanna and Jay Check retired. She's one of the best female fighters ever. Um, sad to see her go, but I get it. I mean, she's put on a lot of good fights and she probably has enough money, so she probably doesn't need to fight anymore. So I hope she enjoys her retirement. Um, there was Valentina Shevchenko, her close win. Um, a lot of people, and I think so too. I think that accidental headbutt was um, her opponent's head collided. That was uh, that was uh, I won't say she lucked out, but definitely with the way the judges have been scoring fights as of late. I'm kind of surprised that that was uh, the way, you know, I was just surprised that that was how that, that, that was how she wanted to go with it. But I get it. Some people are tougher than others, you know. Um, and then the main event, this was one of my favorite fights of the year. Uh, Glover Texera, the light heavyweight champion versus Jerry Pern. Uh, I can't even, I don't even want to, I don't even want to butcher his name. He deserves more more respect than me butchering his last name, but Glover versus Jerry. That was back and forth up until like the very end. Jerry did very well with the grappling, which surprised me because as everyone knows, Glover Tixara is a, is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. He's one, of the best, he's one of the best grapplers probably in the world, especially at his age. He's 40, he's 41. He's in his he's in his early 40s. So that definitely surprised me. Um, he just he fought really well, and um, I don't know why. I don't know why in that last round he went for the guillotine choke. Um, he could have just not. He could have just stopped him on the feet, but he didn't. And he went for the he went for the guillotine. Ended up on his back, and then Jerry took his back and put him in a rear naked choke. And it was just it was over from there. It was over from there, and that just it. It was tough. It was May I tough. help you? I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna get back later on. 
this this year coming up in 2023. I think he's going to beat his opponent. I forget his. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. But he's probably going to he's probably going to win the title back. Thank you. Be seeing you. We're going to repair all of our items. save here and stop the recording and um, maybe record a couple more episodes we'll see but um yeah hopefully you guys hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe um the whole nine yards and um yeah until next time